How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Box. Tonight, we are playing Betrayal at House on the Hill. Widow's Walk expansion. And so I need to make a haunt roll. Make a haunt roll. A five. You got Four. it. You got it. You got it. My rope. Yeah. Oh! oh. All right, guys, tonight we're playing Betrayal at House on the Hill, Widow's Walk, the expansion, the first expansion for Betrayal at House on the Hill, and I am super excited, one, because Betrayal was actually one of the first games that got us started in this hobby. Uh, we haven't even, we just cracked it open, blew through the rules to make sure we kind of understood how everything worked. I know this offers a little bit more than the original Betrayal at House on the Hill. These are the new books that come with the expansion. Okay. Because if you see on here, sorry, it's 50. 50 new haunts? It's 50. That's insane. Yeah. So it's, All these people. It's like a new base game, basically. Yeah. Like, how many people made this, like, I'm, I'm sorry, nerding out about that. No, that's exciting. And yeah, so we're gonna just jump right into it. Uh, if you aren't familiar with how Betrayal at House on the Hill goes, go buy it, please. Um, and then come back, watch this video so you can watch us probably fail miserably at trying to win. Um, so yeah, this video, probably we're not gonna go into like too much of an explanation of how the game's played. We're just gonna have a good time. And oh, we should probably also wish everyone a happy Halloween. Spooky. So, yeah. All right. So we're gonna jump right into it. So here we go. Okay. So tonight I will be playing as Brandon Jaspers um, for no reason aside from we share the same name. Who are you gonna be? I'm gonna be Jenny Leclerc. Leclerc. And I like her because she's wearing purple. All right. <laughs> Keith. I'm gonna be Ox Bellows. You would be. Yeah. He's big <laughs> and strong. Because I grabbed one of the pieces like and that's what came out. Nice. And who are you? I am Father Reinhardt. The, the, the German gardening fencing scientist, pastor, priest, scientist, guy? priest, space okay. wizard. Yeah. Because he's wise. All right. Because he's bald. Uh -huh. And so it starts with the person whose birthday is closest. So on May 21st. March 4th. October 18th. Wow. Ooh. April. Oh, no, it's not. Coming next. Oh, next. but it's October. It is, yeah, it's I past. feel like we should still, for the sake of Halloween. I don't should... like going first. Oh, well, too bad. You're the only one. No, no, the so rule is what's next. You, not what happened. You should ox. No. So <laughs> March, then what's it's next? you. Okay. Go here and then here. Oh, fantastic. And Nick just handed me the collapsed room. So I must attempt a speed roll of five to avoid falling. If I fail the roll, I must draw a basement tile and put it in play. And I fall there and take one die of physical damage. Good luck. Unless you try to be the bad guy, then... Oh, oh nice. she passed. I didn't collapse, so that's good great. Job. Go in there. Sorry. Okay, and it's the conservatory. Not conservatory. All right, and, and you get an event. I get an event. Drip, drip, drip. A rhythmic sound that, <laughs> <laughs> that needles at my brain. Put the drip token in this room. Each explorer rose, rolls one fewer die, minimum of one, on all trait rolls while in this room. All right, it's the irrigation. It's bad in the conservatory. Okay, so then it rolls to me. Yep. Clock. All right, and my speed is four. Go one, two. The graveyard. Mm. Uh, when exiting, I must attempt a sanity roll of four plus. If I fail, lose one knowledge, but continue moving. Great. Why is there a graveyard inside of a house? It's outside. But it, this door goes it's outside. It's real close to the foyer. Yeah, it's like five feet from the front door. They have a graveyard. They have a really Why close not? family. Can we just talk about how Who's... I'm gonna have to go back through the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. I, I was trying not to bring to it up. To the basement. The bench card. 
All right, mutant house pet. A mewling from inside the wall. Is it a cat? A second yowl erupts from the same spot in the wall. A different feline voice. Two cats? You hear only one scratching to get out. Two heads? You claw at the plaster to find out. You must attempt a speed roll of four plus. If I fail, take uh, one point of physical damage from the pet's attack. If I succeed, I get one sanity and one speed. All right, so I need four. I did it! Good job. Yes, okay, so I get a sanity and a speed. Wow. Nice. All right, so I am super old mm -hmm. and super slow. So okay. I'm going to go three spaces. All right. So one, two, three, and I'm safe in this upstairs, the upstairs smoking the pipe and drinking some brandy. Don't come up here. All right. We'll leave you alone. Thank you. Miss Got Keith? I think I'm going to follow uh, the father because I don't like it down here. What did I just say? <laughs> Kids don't listen, right? <laughs> right? One, two, three, four. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what this says. Oh, I got uh, one of the omens. Once per game, if you end your turn in this, in here, gain mm -hmm. one speed. Nice! Because you needed it. Because I needed it. And you now have to draw an omen card. I'm getting my speed first. Which could start the haunt. Something new with this expansion, you put one of these tokens in any one of these kind of rooms, so you can't get it twice. But anyone else who ends their turn. Oh, so you're turn. claiming that you used the yes. room ability. Yeah, got you it. Pump some iron and... Yep. Yeah. So, mask. A somber mask to hide your intentions. Once during your turn, you can attempt a sanity roll to use the mask. All, All right, right, so now you gotta roll six dice One, to two, three, see six. if the haunt starts. So if Keith rolls zero, then the haunt will actually start. It's less than the number of omen cards that have been played. Play, right. Come on. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> wow! One, you guys got that as oh, one wow. die. <laughs> Wow. One pip. Oh. Yeah. Ty goes to the runner. Wow. That's me. Okay. Right. That was. Yeah. yeah. I clinched. Well, unfortunately, I'm going back into the collapsed room. Good luck. And attempting my speed roll once again. Last time I rolled as good as I could have. Let's do good again. Not so much. You got four, don't you? Beat it? It's five. Oh. oh. So, can I get a basement tile, please? There you go. Oh. When exiting, you must attempt a knowledge roll of four plus. If you fail, lose one sanity, but continue moving. And since I fell through the collapsed room, I take one die of physical damage. Zero. Yay! Yay. I got the medallion. Nice. A, a medallion inscribed with a pentagram. I am immune to the effects of the pentagram chamber, crypt, and graveyard make a hot roll now wow that's perfect, perfect. Yeah. wow that's awesome we are safe much luckier than i g to g all right so in the graveyard when exiting i have to attempt a sanity roll of four plus so my sanity is five that's the same little kid he's very better. same Game says bliss. All right, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Charred room. Someone's making burgers in there. Okay, and I just have an omen right out the. That's awesome. The ring, a battered ring with an incomprehensible inscription. If you attack an opponent that has a sanity trait, you can attack with sanity instead of might. Your opponent then defends with sanity and damages mental instead of physical. Tight. All right. Haunt. So how many haunts we got? Three. Three. Oh, three omens three out there. Okay. Three omens. All right. Three. We are golden. So now I'm going to go this direction into the library. Ooh. Why, boy, so why? once per game, if I end my turn here, I gain a knowledge. Scale of hands. Mother and child still embracing. Cute. Um, so I just put the skeleton token in the room and then take one dice of mental damage. Oh, oh man, that's the up. And then roll the dice. Take one mental. 
Uh, once during an explorer's turn, that explorer can attempt a sanity roll to search the skeletons. Mm. Interesting. It's gross. Yeah. You gonna search Are you going to do it? Sanity, huh? It's a six. Three. Uh, dig around, but find nothing. Ooh. Take a die of mental damage. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Touching the dead families. Well, I'm going to just go on my little road. May go. There I go. Have what fun. is this? Oh, master bedroom. I'm just going to bring this back in this way. You find. I find an omen. All right, I got the holy symbol. A symbol of calm in a world, in an unsettling world, actually. I'm going to make a hot roll. We were really bad last time. Here comes the haunt. Here oh. is the save. Oh. Just oh, you wow. are gonna be the traitor. <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm immune to the effects here. I'm gonna keep on going. There you go. Ooh, interesting. I found a laundry, and it has the dumb waiter. Nice. That's new to the expansion. Yeah. If you end your turn here, you may discard an item card to draw an item card from the discard pile. Machine gun. Oh, close enough. It's a what? boomstick. Oh, boomstick. <laughs> this That's awesome. is my boomstick. It's a weapon. It's Which rusted can. and well used. Someone took a hacksaw to the barrel. At least they left two good shells. Wow, you only have two shots. All right. What are you gonna do, Brandon? I think I'm gonna go this way. One, two. Ooh, the bathroom good because <laughs> I gotta. It's that time. Been all day at a chimichanga that's not sitting right. All right, here we go. Mystic slide. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> the floor falls from under you. That is not what you want to happen while you're Place the now. slide token in this room, then attempt a might roll to use the slide. Should need that third chimichanga. Yeah. Three. Draw tiles from the room stack until you draw a basement room. You fall to that room and take one die of physical damage. Slide tokens there. Mm -hmm. I need three lock tokens. And then I go in here. You should have, right? Do you want me to read that for I you? have obstacle tokens. Yeah. Lock. Put a lock token on each door of this room. To enter or exit through a locked door, attempt a knowledge roll of three plus to remove the lock. So you're locked in that room. Great. With your chimichanga. But you never got to relieve yourself because the mystic floor slide. Yeah. just went right from beneath you. Funeral. You see an open coffin. You're inside it. <laughs> <laughs> you must attempt a sanity roll. So my sanity is five. Wow. Killed it. You blink and it's gone. Gain one sanity. So I'm going to head this way into the Oregon room, and I will read a card of events. Oh man. Lightning strikes. You count the seconds from when you see the flash. Second. I love the writing on these cards. Mm. Like, they're amazing. So for this uh, event, all explorers on the roof or on an outside room, like outdoors, mm -hmm. has to roll. No one's there. All right. I'm doing that, so goodbye. Yay. I gotta get out of this bedroom. Put me right there. Okay. Ooh. I don't wanna. Oh, I like this actually. Drawing room. When discovered, draw one card of any type. Whoa. Ooh. And there's a dumb waiter there. There's an item full. I found me a revolver. Ooh. Nice. An old, potent looking weapon. Oh, they're both down here together. He's locked in that room. Yeah, yeah you wanna make out? Two, three, four. Alright. The charred room and the abandoned room. Abandoned oh. room. Does that make sense? Yeah. Omen, oh, please. Oh, no. I found the rope. It probably wasn't used to hang anybody today. You may move up the coal chute and from the ballroom to the gallery. You do not need to roll for crossing the chasm. You do not take damage from the collapsed room and can move from the room with the below collapsed room token into the collapsed room when moving via the dumbwaiter. You may move to any landing. Wow. I keep getting these amazing- Wow, I hope if I'm a good guy that you're also a good guy. <laughs> yeah, <That is laughs> seriously. Crazy good. 
Right. And so I need to make a haunt roll. Make a haunt roll. A five. You got Four. it. You got it. You got it. My rope. Yeah. Oh, oh you got four. four. Can I get the haunt the roll call over? Hands. So you were in the... Abandoned room okay. with the rope. Oh my gosh, something bad happened there. <laughs> <laughs> Something horrible happened. Haunt the revealer. Haunt revealer. All right, that's unfortunate because you were like powerful as hell right now. Yeah, you were a bit of valuable. So asset. if you get to keep all that stuff, we're effed. Get out of here. So we are doing the woods in the cabin by Mike Selinker. All this time you thought you were in a haunted house, but now you remark that the wooden frame of the house is quite rough hewn and there are leaves everywhere. Despite some Frank Lloyd Wright wannabe glomming all sorts of habitable attachments on it, the house is not a house at all. It is a mighty tree. There is only one problem. It is an ensorcelled tree that is growing recklessly out of control. Its roots can shatter the foundations of skyscrapers. Its acorns can crush city buses. Its squirrels are ravenous monsters. Oh, wow. You have to cut this tree before it kills you all. Awesome scenario, Mike. Right now, each hero that does not have a weapon draws a random weapon from the item stack. If there are any in the stack, then shuffle the stack. Here you go. Blood dagger. A nasty weapon, needles and tubes extend from the handle and plunge right into your veins. Awesome, so I get hurt every time, or I have the potential of getting hurt, I think, every time I use this. That's awesome. I don't like the blood dagger. Oh, I got a chainsaw. <sighs> That's way cooler. <laughs> and it says, room, baby, room. Yeah, that is way cooler. <laughs> She's got a boomstick, you got a revolver, you got a chainsaw. Okay, how to cut down the tree. You must destroy the ground floor and make sure the top of the house is so heavy that the trunk can't handle the weight. You can do this when there are no ground floor tiles except the tree house and the total number of rooms on the upper floor and roof exceeds the number of roots in the basement. So she's probably going to be adding rooms down here while we're trying to got it. Special attack rules, once on your turn, you may attack a ground floor room, make a might attack against the room. If you defeat the room, flip the room tile over. Um, or in the case of the entrance hall and the grand staircase, put a random ground floor tile face down on top of it. You may not attack the tree house. All right, so Britt has started the haunt. Um, just to kind of recap, the house is actually a giant tree and there are acorns represented by these tokens and there are squirrels represented by these tokens and there are roots of the uh, house represented by the green tokens and the plant tokens. And so Keith, Nick, and myself are gonna try our damnedest to destroy this tree and get the hell out of here alive. Yeah, so I need to work You're on locked getting there. unlocked. So what do I have to roll? Three. My knowledge is three. Right, my knowledge is ooh, three. He's a dumb kid. No, oh, he's smart. Why are you so sane? Ooh, yes. three. My dude. So I, I'm gonna run past this guy. <laughs> I hate I hate plants too. I mean, like I don't hate plants. I love my plants, but like just like plant horror type stuff freaks me out. Plants that are alive. Yeah. Like, like Venus flytraps right. genuinely freak me out. I can so see that. yeah, this is. Uh, I hate it in Mario. All right, so I'm gonna go. That's one. That's two. And then I'm gonna. Can I ride this bitch up? As long as you have two more moves. Yep. Uh, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and beat the hell out of the entrance hall here. Nice. So my might is four, and then I roll three additional dice when making a might attack. So four, five, six, Good luck. seven. Just gonna poke holes in everything. Uh, when making a might attack with this weapon, if I do, I lose one speed. So I rolled a, what is that? Six. Six. 
is good. So the room has a might of four, so. Three. So that room dies. Yay, okay. so I take a random ground floor tile. Okay. And that one is good to go. Sweet. Good job. Yay. Way to beat the hell out of That was room. actually a really good turn. I got out of there. I escaped those plants, right? Like, those plants don't attack me. Not yet. Okay, okay. I'm probably just going to go this way. All right. Just keep looking around for stuff. <laughs> Never mind that. Acorn. I can attempt a might roll of three to cross. If I fail, I stop moving. So what is a it? Tower piece. The tower. Okay, so a might of three. Tight. I stopped moving, which is okay because I was going to do it anyways. A moment of hope. Something feels strangely right about this room. Something is resisting the evil of the house. Place the blessing token in this room. Each hero rolls one additional die on all trait rolls while in this room. Okay. That, that's stupid waste of time. Well, no, but not necessarily because it helps you get out of there. Yeah, but, yeah I guess. That was going to give me a bazooka. For a <laughs> blessing of bazooka. Yeah, come on. All right. All right. So here I go. I'm going to do the little uh, dumb waiter. Okay. I'm gonna go here. Okay. I'm gonna try to attack this room. All right. I'm just gonna shoot holes in the wall. Spray and pray. <laughs> this is truly spray and pray. And I got six bullets. Who the fuck it with a revolver? Three. Nice. All right. Come on. Come on, snake eyes. Tree roll zero. Oh. <sighs> The tree defended itself so well from those bullets. Okay, so you hit me for two, so I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this by two. My speed. All Just right. Nice. Okay. Is that monster no, mash? No. What is that? An acorn? Mm-hmm. Figured you'd be doing something like that. My squirrels are gonna attack you. Uh oh. Oh. That's not very. All of them. Okay, well, vroom vroom, and I get extra dice for using my chainsaw, That's and I gotta make always. the sound. He's gotta make the sound, um, and then he gets an extra I'm dice. also in a room where I have hope, so I get an extra dice. Nice. But you picked the wrong old German <laughs> golf gardener to mess with. Ooh, Snevin. Take it. So each point of damage will remove one squirrel from the room. So Nick hit me for three, so nice. I'm taking away three squirrels. Yeah. You just bye sent bye. three squirrels needlessly to their death. I know. Yeah. Into the meat They grinder. just wanted to play. Why do you Obviously, they did not if they ran into my chainsaw. Chainsawed them up. All right, time to beat the hell out of this treehouse. <laughs> uh, I'm going into up. this one. Okay. The bathroom, I'm gonna do a mic roll. Five. Not a great roll. <laughs> Good enough. Yeah. So you take three. Or the room. The room, just dies. room dies. All right, sweet. Yay. Oh, oh. but I forgot to use the toilet. All right. <laughs> Destroyed it. <laughs> you guys are in trouble. All right. All right, so now I'm just going to start heading back this way. So one. Two, or so that was one. So. Two, three. Oh, and I gotta reduce my speed because I use my blood dagger again. Oof. So I'm just gonna keep. So I just have to roll three or higher to cross this thing. Do it. I can only roll three dice. Even with the, dice with the blessing. With the blessing. It's two dice normally. Oh. Oh. So I might be stuck here. Again. What do you have to get? Three or more. All right, you got it. See? No, I don't. No, I got one. Mm. But I now don't. can you just fight him? Just to kill him? Can you only do it once per turn? Well, he didn't. It's a trait to cross. It said stop moving if yeah. you fail. Oh. So I don't know how it's going to work, like thematically, but I'm going to take out the squirrel and the acorn. All right, do it. Use your imagination on that one. So I have to use a knowledge roll. <laughs> yes. It's mentally, mentally challenged. Right. You get one extra die. You well, the acorns are extremely heavy. Oh, that's right. They're like said. humongous they're acorns. Trying right. Right. Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay. So that is a great roll. That's six. So I defend with knowledge then? Hmm. Same. One dice, huh? Yeah. Squirrels are kind it's of. It's impossible. Um, nice. So All right. I just so you take them out. this on that, and then they both die. Wow. Right. So I have to equal or exceed seven, seven or seven. Seven or better. Oof. 
two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Bye, root plant green thing. Root. See you later. Have fun. <laughs> All right. Well, now you had a kick-ass turn, Keith. Now let's try to keep that uh, good times going. Blow up the staircase. Yeah, I'm gonna roll my six again for that staircase. Yeah. Four. 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 Five. Mm. Indestructible. I ain't going in there. That's it. She's at an arsenal. Someone's gonna have to go in there. Here we go. So we're gonna try and beat the hell out of this room, the charred room. It's already pretty messed up, so shouldn't have too hard of a time. Actually, I'm not gonna use my blood dagger though, because I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> yeah. So might of four. Here we go. Hope you can beat two. Yeah. Oh damn, dude. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. Four. Four, so I'll go one. Speed doesn't matter. Two. It kind of matters. Three. Four. Oh my gosh. I need healing. Dang it, I should have used my blood dagger. <laughs> okay. Guess I'll attempt again. Mm hmm. To get out of this stupid tower. Tower of terror. Two. Not good enough. Wow. Stuck in this room, Mr. Keith. A gen. Well, couldn't you attack it? And do one? No. no. I don't need to attack the upstairs. It's friendly. Five. For this time, roll bad. Yeah. Like, not the awesome. Oh, not. my gosh. All right, your turn, Brent. Go back and just start throwing acorns away. I wonder. That would like somehow slow her down. Yeah. Either way, you gotta get out of there, huh? Alright. No, no, I can go back. Let me try this one again. And I can't use my blood, dag blood dagger anymore because they'll kill you. I'll die. Nice. And now my might is a three. You might die, dog. Ugh. Okay. Three. Three. Can you roll all zeros just one time? Three. Oh, just tie it. So nothing happens. Dang it. Okay. Nikki? Okay. I think I'm just going to go back. Okay. Because I can't. Yeah, waste any more time. So, and as a knowledge roll. Are you going to attack him? Yeah. Yep. So that's not a score. Or no, that's acorns. Those are just acorns. Yeah, so it's just a knowledge roll. It's just a roll of six. Six dice. Yeah, yeah, once per turn you can remove one. Oh, okay, yeah. And, and then all six is less than that yep. crap. So seven or more, right? Oh, fire truck. One gets removed, but it doesn't get thrown at one of these. Right. Yeah, so. Six. You still haven't beat up that room yet? I haven't beat up the room, okay? Oh, little nerd. It's kind of hard. That's much better. Yes. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Me. If she rolls eight, I am going to cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of want to see that happen. <laughs> nope. All right. Let's give him a random. Don't form. you eat up my room? Me. All right. Are you gonna move? Oh, I will. Oh. Okay, might as well. No, I want to stay here. <laughs> Each explorer rolls one fewer die minimum of one on trade rolls. Oh, so that's fine. I thought I took damage on um, each time I was in the room. More acorns in the other basement tile? Yep. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, do you, like, you need to expand that a lot. I think I might actually go up there. Okay. You know what I mean? Because okay. uh, otherwise I'm going to die. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I'm going to head upstairs. One, two, three. I'm just going to sit on the stairs. Okay. 
these acorns have to go away. So I'll try again to remove them. Okay. So I have to roll six dice. It's one less room downstairs now. So six are better. Nice. nice. Okay, so. Here, move the acorn in. Yup. And then what the heck is three? One, two. If you go that way, you can get another room up there. Yeah. Unless you guys want me to go this way. Yeah, that's what. It, okay. Because like, there's doors here too. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go that way. Research laboratory. Hanged men. A breeze chills the room. Before you, three men hang from frayed ropes. They stare at you with cold, dead eyes. The trio swings silently, then fade into dust that falls to the ground. You start to choke. Must attempt a roll for each trait. Okay. So speed. Might. Oh, Woo! Nothing happens. Sanity. Nothing happens. And knowledge. Nothing happens. If I roll two plus on all four rolls, gain one additional point in a trait of my choice. Nice. All right. That's tight. Probably want to do what? Like speed? No, nah, because rooms that we're going through usually have stuff on them. Yeah, I would do like your might. Yeah, I'll do my might. Because I'm thinking maybe you should go downstairs. Okay. Since okay. you're a little bit healthier than I am right Yeah, now. and how do I get there for my next turn? Uh, you'd have to go to that upper landing and head downstairs. You can't five die this time because of stupid trip. Four. Four. So, oh. Not bad. Not good. Average roll, right? I wish. Four. Oh my gosh. All right. Take your turn. Lucky Lulu over there. It's growing and growing and growing. Basement tile. There you go. All right, I'm coming up. So one. And then we want to go. I can move you. Throw an acorn. Uh, yeah, I think I should probably try. Well, I mean, you can continue moving. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll go in here. Okay. And once per game, if you end your turn here, gain one speed. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I am going to end my turn there. So, so, once per tire game or once per player? It's, I had to have to put a marker on oh, there. Okay. okay, so, what, uh, knowledge? So six, no, six dice. Knowledge is for five. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So six okay. dice, and you have to get it. six. Nice work. Nailed it. So, yep, get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm going to end my turn there, and then I get a speed. Yep. Just, that's Yay. Go ahead and throw this guy in here for you. Yep. Here's some colors. All right, and you're up, Nick. So, I'm going to go yeah, I... one. Two, mm -hmm. three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Punch it. I'm gonna chainsaw it, actually. Chainsaw it. So I get four. So I get five minus one. So I get four. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Mm. Here comes the boom. Kind of, not really. Come I on, just lost. Chainsaw you got there. It's tired from destroying those fur got caught in it. Oh, man. <sighs> That's fine. I'll take a speed. I saw three. All right, Keith. How many? Four. Conservatory. Of course, the room with all the plants in it is like yeah, impossible. Oh, wow, the house just blew up. We won. Yep. That's unfortunate. It died. We won. That's unfortunate. <laughs> nice. Yes. yes. Oh, good job. All right. So we get rid of that drip token too. Yeah. All right, cool. Monster turn. Okay. Monsters. Can I get a basement tile? Yes, there you go. Ooh, a dusty hallway. I think I need to grow that 
upstairs a little bit okay. more, huh? So, yeah, move me, like, top and, like, towards... So, one, two, three? Yeah. Okay. Statuary corridor. Event. It's an event cord. All right. <laughs> Burial mound. A pile of rocks covering a fresh corpse. Too fresh. Put the burial mound token in this room. When an explorer exits this room after the haunt is revealed, the corpse attacks. Great. The player on the explorer's right makes a might attack, or makes a might four attack against the explorer. If the explorer wins by three or more, discard the token. Burial mound. Awesome. Can you exit? Yeah. yeah. So my movement ends. So I'll go in here and I gotta test speed. Okay. Okay, so I fall, and then Take one, one dice. dice. Physical damage. Okay. Oof. Ooh. Oof. Oof. That's not good. Okay, well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was gross. I was like, oh no, what's happening? <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? So four or more after roll? Off of your knowledge, yeah. And that would lose mental if I fail it? You would lose one sanity. Okay, I have to get the hell out of there. Tight. It's fine. I still have five. You need to slide and me over. You're stuck in there, aren't you? Mm, this way? Oh, yeah. but continue moving. I can't do that, so I'm going to have to go here and stop. Okay. Rip. Okay. Good. No, this is not looking great. She's really close to winning. Yeah. Son of a Wow, well, so what was your, we'll read your. I win when all heroes are dead or I become 10 undestroyed rooms larger than at the start of the haunt. We suck. You suck. You are a tree. You have one goal to grow, and grow you, you shall. Soon you shall eclipse the sun with your height. Mankind will wither and die. You will reach the heavens. So that's why you don't leave the house when it turns into a tree house. Because mm. like humanity stop it was dependent on us not right. to have done what just happened. I liked it. The title was The Woods in the Cabin instead of The Cabin uh. in the Woods. All right, so what do you guys think? I thought it was really good. I liked the scenario, and I really like the new tiles they added. I thought they looked yeah. really cool. Mm -hmm. They're a little more vibrant than the ones from the original. Mm -hmm. This game's awesome. Mm -hmm. Same like basic concept every time you play, but there's like a bazillion scenarios, so you don't know what the rules are each time. Yeah. And, and so we've it's like never had the same scenario, right? Twice. People always use that cliche like it's a different game every time. This one actually is a different game, right? This right. it was a freaking treehouse, right? Yeah, <laughs> totally didn't expect that. Yeah, awesome, Keith. I suck. Keith's just upset. Yeah. He's very, very mad. <laughs> so that is the Widow's Walk expansion. There's 50 new haunts inside of that. That was just one of 50, so we got 49 to go. Um, <laughs> And we'll be shooting videos for all those. No, I love Betrayal at House on the Hill. I think it's just like some of the scenarios are so stupid and off the wall, um, but it's great because it's like watching, you know, a cult classic horror film. I'm pretty sure there's probably a horror film for every scenario. No, I was like, who's the guy that did the horror movies that you guys are into like recently? Oh, uh, Adam Wingard. At, so yeah. Adam, we need to, yeah. we need to tweet we need to him do, or something. Yeah, Make a tree cabin. house. Yeah, come alive, yeah. Come alive and kill people. Yeah, no, awesome <laughs> stuff. So guys, for beyondtheboxgaming.com, happy Halloween. Boo! I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm Brando. I'm Britt. I'm Nick. And I'm Keith. Game on.